So prior to us having a, a proper system in place, everything was managed through spreadsheets. Mm -hmm. So I guess a lot of people are the same. They're, they're running various large reports out of the main ERP system, whatever that might be. Yeah. Um, for us, it's a system called Kerridge, which seems to be fairly unique to the building industry. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's, it's a big system. So we're running, well, we were running very large reports out of that system mm -hmm. and using spreadsheets to manipulate that data mm -hmm. to come up with what was the the end product, the, the rebate value. Mm -hmm. And what problems did you see or encounter that kind of persuaded you to, to look at a system? So I think as with any any business that's using spreadsheets, they're prone to massive errors. Mm -hmm. Somebody changes a formula um, or deletes a sheet and you know what that's like, it can mm -hmm. take you a day to figure out what you've done. Mm -hmm. um, and, and from time to time, things that you've done last month might take you a while to figure out before you're able to do them again this month because you know they're a one-off process. Um, also, with with anything like this where it's, it's you know hundreds hundreds of contracts, each one of those has various caveats in them. The propensity to make an error through the calculations is massive using spreadsheets. So we had a, I guess we we had a possible issue with with the integrity of the the data mm. and the integrity of the end result as well. Yeah. Um, through the use of spreadsheets. Yeah, so I guess it's not just kind of maybe spreadsheets as a system, but also because the contracts could be quite complicated, it was kind of, uh, I guess, a dual complexity there of trying to understand Excel, but also understand the contract. Yeah, and I think as well, it'd be fair to say that those those spreadsheets were, were, were built by certain people that use them. And if they have ever had to have any sort of holiday cover or somebody else take over that job, mm. it'd be now and impossible because yeah. it wasn't a, a supported system. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I guess you've kind of explained some of the problems there that might indicate the next question, but what was the motivation, I guess, to move to uh, a system and, and stop using Excel? I think I think when you look at MKM um, and the growth of MKM, um, you go back two or three years and we were kind of 30 branches, we're now knocking on sort of 70 branches, mm -hmm. looking to turn over sort of half a billion nowadays. Yeah. Um, our growth as a, as a business has meant that we need more mature systems underpinning the processes. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a, a need to, to put a more, more robust system in place for, for our rebates, um, as well as the, the obvious opportunity of time saving and labour saving yeah. and increasing accuracy.